Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Forecast Killer. I really want to showcase just how awesome the Ride 4 really is. This is a uh, PlayStation 5 edition, enhanced PlayStation 5 edition that takes full features capability of dual sense and force feedback and i'll talk about that as we are you know driving one of these motorcycles currently this game it's on sale for 29.99 uh, you get both versions ps4 and ps5 of course you want to download the ps5 version and uh, i have actually tested this game through the uh, share play feature from my friend martin all the way from Canada and once I tried it I was like that's it I'm hooked end of story so that's the one cool feature that PlayStation 5 has it lets you try the game before you buy it like your friend can let you play it as much as you want before you make a decision whether you want to purchase this or not so anyway let's start let's fire this up and let me uh, talk about this game and also the uh, 4k HDR 60 this game it's in 4k 60 HDR with dual sense and haptic feedback so let's get right into it shall we ride four I also want to let you know that I'll be using my 3d audio pulse headsets as I am driving this motorcycle and I'm gonna talk about my experience both from a dual sense perspective and haptic feedback on a controller and also the 3d tempest pulse 3d audio 3d directional audio and i'll talk about that as i am uh, experiencing this to give you my feedback along with the 4k hdr as well so let's get right into this again shall we and the first thing that you welcomed is the HDR nits. How many of HDR nits do you want to put? And I'm going to put 900. Actually, we'll keep it at 1,000 because uh, this television cannot exceed any more than uh, 800 something, uh, close to 850 nits. So this is all it. We'll keep it at 1,000 and we'll proceed. This is the audio. You can select how much of uh, effects would you like to uh, adjust on your audio. So we'll keep it at a extended home theater. And uh, we're gonna proceed. This is right four, proceed. This is my character. So here we go. I'm going to tell you exactly how my feeling uh, as far as the uh, the dual sense and haptic feedback. And I'm also going to talk about the uh, audio as well. The haptic feedback and the pressure on the haptic feedback truly represents the uh, this motorcycle as you are you know twisting that handle and accelerating this is truly amazing and the audio you can feel the uh, almost like wind blowing uh, through your face that's how good the uh, the 3d audio really is right now As far as the uh, the 4K 60 HDR, it looks phenomenal, man. Um, you got to remember this TV; it's a uh, 13 millisecond respond time, uh, instant game response. So I'm getting the best possible latency that I can get. There's a certain weight to it, man. Like on the left side, you feel the weight as you're moving the bike, just like you would in real life. If you've driven a motorcycle, you know when you move it to the left, you feel a little bit of a weight moving left. And when you move it to the right, you feel that weight moving to the right. So it has that nice balance between the uh, both left and right side of the dual sense. 
And uh, this is something that you will have to feel. You'll have to uh, buy this controller. You will have to buy the PlayStation 5 to understand how truly good this really is. Now, I'm not a professional. I'm not an expert. I just started playing this. So it's going to take a while for me. But uh, I'll get a hang of it. And this is the game changer, honestly, when it comes to uh, playing these third-party games on the PlayStation 5, especially if the third-party games utilize these features, and they will on the PlayStation 5. Why wouldn't they utilize these features from, uh, you know, 3D audio, force, uh, uh, dual sense, and uh, haptic feedback? Why not? And again, I hate to bring the elephant in the room, but you're not going to get this type of experience on the uh, Xbox Series X. You simply cannot because they don't have the type of a controller to utilize this. Okay? And this is a game changer, man. Um, people who have PlayStation 5 and Series X, uh, where do you think they're going to play this game? I know exactly where they're going to play this game. I, I already know. Sixty FPS, smooth ride. My Cameron friend, uh, Cameron D, you should get this game as well, um, uh, so we can all play together uh, and compete. Because uh, I, I was sold today when uh, Martin introduced me to this. I was like, man, I'm I'm sold, bro. I'm kind of addicted to this, as a matter of fact. Uh, once you get a hang of it, once you, you know, get better at this, it will become natural. Obviously, you guys cannot hear the sound because I have my headsets on and um, the audio, it's very atmospheric. What do I mean by atmospheric? Meaning that you hear the atmosphere around you. You can hear the engine roaring. You can hear the wind blowing uh, as you're going faster. Like right now, you feel that wind. You feel that scraping on your right uh, knee as you're coming down in the circle. You feel that haptic feedback pressure. You feel the weight. And every motorcycle will feel different, as it should be, just like in real life. Uh, and then 4K HDR, what can I say, man? It looks amazing. It looks just amazing. So there you have it. Uh, I hope this video gives you some idea about the Ride 4. Uh, yet another reason why you want to jump into ps5 you know even the third party games will take uh, advantage of uh dual sense and force feedback and the 3d audio tempest 3d audio i mean and then the share feature uh, all of these things really add to a more convenient way to play much better way to enjoy even a third party game like this and even this game it's 30 dollars. you're not even paying a full price uh, it has 4K 60 HDR right out of, the, out of the gate, you know, and looks fantastic. Now, depending on what type of TV do you have, that will also uh, be a, a key factor as well. So, well, there you have it. Ride 4. Cheers. Enjoy it. Buy it. Have fun.